Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kimmy Madeline. In today's video, I will be documenting the progress after my last touch-up surgery that I will be doing today. I'm leaving to go to the surgery in just like 15 minutes, so I just wanted to start off this video by talking to you guys and telling you about what is expected. If you're not familiar with my story, I did a laser eye surgery three years ago in 2013 in December. And that one had a couple of complications, which uh, meant that I got haze in both of my eyes, which is basically you get like a scarring tissue in the middle of the eyes. After that, they tried out a lot of different eye drops, medical eye drops, cortisone eye drops, all kinds of things to get it to heal. But it didn't heal and they were going in for a touch-up surgery one eye at a time. So they started off by doing the eye surgery on the left eye one year ago. So I've already done that one on this eye. I guess the results on my left eye are mostly acceptable. And the only thing that is left is that a little bit of astigmatism and uh, 0.5, uh, minus 0.5 on the left eye. And I'm not going in to correct that because they say that you can get more issues with haze if you try to fix that little issue. So minus 0.5 is not something I am bothered by at the time. I just want to fix my right eye so I can uh, feel that I'm done with this chapter of my life. So today I'm going in for the touch-up surgery on my right eye. They're going to scrape off the haze on my, in my right eye. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Uh, I'm leaving in around 15 minutes to go to the eye clinic here in Stockholm. So this video will be capturing some of the moments throughout the recovery process and uh, things that I just want to let you know about during these couple of days that are following this touch-up surgery. So I will be filming over the next couple of days and merging them together in this video. So just keep on watching and you'll see the progress. Unfortunately, I lost my microphone in London when I was visiting last time, so I don't have a good microphone. It's only the camera. Um, the iPhone that I'm using right now so yeah so that's all for now I'll see you soon so here we have the medication that I got from the eye clinic the first one we have are hydrating eye drops they look like this and I usually take them every other hour, whenever I need, and whenever they feel dry. And the next one is an uh, eye drop that is for anti-inflammatory reasons. I only take them during the first days until the fifth day. And this is the eye gel that I take every second hour uh, during the first five days. And then I'm only taking them uh, during the night time. And then we're moving on to the eye drops that are called Voltarine and there are pain killing eye drops. And these ones are the numbing eye drops that I only got two of. Uh, and these ones are some paracetamol with codeine, uh, also pain killing. So today is the day after the surgery and uh, as you can see I'm wearing my sunglasses because I'm very light sensitive after surgery and um, I'm supposed to be wearing the sunglasses for at least three months in sunlight and uh, during the day even if it's cloudy so um, right now in the beginning the first couple of days I am wearing them inside as well because this apartment is very bright so I need to wear them constantly the surgery went fine. Um, I was not very nervous because this was my third uh, surgery. Um, so I have gotten used to doing these type of surgeries. Due to the, the complications that I had in the first surgery with the band-aid contact lens, I am not uh, currently wearing a band and that kind of contact lens to protect the, the eye. Um, I'm only wearing 
Mm, no, what they're doing instead is that I'm using these type of um, the gel that I'm applying every hour to kind of make it smooth for the eye to heal a surface. Um, so that is exactly what we did for the left eye and this is the same thing we're doing for this eye. Um, it has been working out well for me and uh, it's just a little bit more work to reapply that gel all the time. So as I showed you in the last clip I am um, uh, having all these different types of medications, eye drops and gel and tablets of all sorts um, and all of them seem to be necessary at this point because pain wise I think this is uh, one of the worst ones. Um, I am not able to open the eye unless I take the really numbing eye drops uh, and I only got two um, small little things out of the numbing one and I'm not supposed to use it too much uh, only if I have severe pain so I already finished one <laughs> during the night because I couldn't sleep otherwise during the night I woke up every second hour or every hour to because I had a lot of pain so um, then I just took a small drop of that one so I could at least uh, fall back to sleep and then I could sleep two more hours um, that was the way I did and then in the morning that uh, eye drop thingy that one was finished so I was like okay uh, hopefully this today would be the only day that I would need the other one I just got off the phone talking to the clinic they called me up now to check on me and how it is and I told her about the eye drops that they're finished almost and uh, she said you're not supposed to take those too much anyway and try to take the pills and uh, uh, the other eye drops that are I showed you in the earlier clip so yeah I think I just need to rest a lot and try to like take my gel and fall back to sleep and a little bit like that um that's the easiest way to pass the time or listen to audiobooks and not open my eyes too much because i do have difficulty opening my eye um if i'm not taking that numbing eye drop so um right now i took one and i'm starting to already feel that when, while I'm blinking, it comes back, the feeling, the, the pain. So I think I will just be really brief here and update you guys either in the evening or tomorrow. And I will put these videos together for you so there will be the next couple of days everything in one. So yeah, catch you soon. Bye. Hey guys, today is day six after surgery and I haven't been filming the last two days um, mostly because yesterday I was just, I don't know, I just felt tired the whole day so I was sleeping in between during the day and it was so bright in the apartment so I just uh, wanted to, to close my eyes and listen to an audiobook and then I fell asleep for an hour or two and then, you know, um, I didn't have that many pain killing eye drops left anymore so um, I just wanted to close my eyes so most mostly that's why I didn't get to film yesterday and the day before we um, it was weekend I think yeah it was Sunday and um, I was just doing stuff at home I think on Sunday on day four the pain had gradually become so uh, so low that I think I was able to do things at home, clean around and do some bits and pieces that I had been um, um, wanting to and put off to do for a while and we also went out to eat um, in the afternoon and I think yeah it, it has kind of become our thing in the evening to take the car and drive out 
just because I've been sitting at home all day and uh, I just want to go somewhere when it's evening and it's dark outside so it's kind of like my moment to do something during these days at least when I've done the eye surgery it's not so fun to go outside during the daytime so yeah so today is actually the first day I am changing the eye drops I'm now taking the cortisone eye drops they are called maxi dex uh, I don't know if they're the same in all over the world but those are the ones that I'm taking from day six and uh, three months it's a special case for me I will take them for three months because they um, want to make sure that I don't get haze again uh, in the eye and uh, yeah so basically to recap uh, generally when you get the eye surgery no matter which one you get this one is the PRK because they use a different technique to remove the haze from the eye so um, usually you would get a band-aid contact lens in the eye since I didn't have a band-aid contact lens in my eye they um, wanted me to put these gel in my eye every other hour throughout the day during the first day until the fifth day so now it's the sixth day and that's why I'm taking the cortisone eye drops three to four times a day and I'm only taking the gel in the evening time so I'm not taking it throughout the day but still it's like the vision is really it's oh, it's really blurry uh, on the left eye no on the right eye um, it's really blurry oh. um, but and now I know it's not because of the gel so it is because it needs to be healing a lot more. I mean, it's only gotten started. So this uh, cortisone eye drops, these are supposed to be um, kickstarting the healing process much more. So, and it also prevents haze to build up in the eye. So yeah, I am still pretty light sensitive as you can see, because this apartment is having windows on all sides and um, it gets really bright and we don't have we only have these blinders in the bedroom so in the bedroom that's mostly where I am resting throughout the day but today I think I mean I feel a lot better so I will try to fix my lunch and stuff like that so and eat some and uh, not sleep throughout the whole day like I did yesterday so diet wise i don't know if you're interested in knowing um i am mostly uh vegan i i would say i am a uh, lacto vegetarian and i eat uh, i don't eat eggs because i'm allergic to eggs so i eat that type of diet and throughout the healing process i also add hundred no thousand milligrams of c vitamin every day um, so that's uh, one of those tablets that you put in water and uh, I drink that throughout the day and I also take multivitamin for uh, vegetarians that have extra B12 and uh, I have uh, extra of D vitamin because I mean here it's been winter for so long I don't even know the the spring didn't even start this is kind of like cold spring um, you don't get that much sunlight so you have to get your D vitamin from somewhere since I will not be getting the D vitamin through my eyes and I'm also using sun protection um, it's uh, yeah it's better to take the D vitamin another medication that I take that is not uh, it's a prescription and it's mostly due to my thyroid issue I have hypothy Thyroid, I think it's called yeah uh, no it's called hypothyroidism and I take um, nowadays no I started off by taking 25 micrograms um, every day in the morning and that was last year um, during the summer that was when they actually started to suspect that I have 
uh, subclinical hypothyroidism because it's a very low dose to just try out. They were wanting to see if I um, have any issues with it. So that's what I started to take. And some of my symptoms, they really, they disappeared within the first three months. So they exceeded the dose to 50 micrograms. And uh, then I was recently there and they checked it up in the blood and they thought that the TSH levels were a little bit too low. So the thyroid is not working on its own. So yeah, so they basically thought that I should take uh, a tablet that is in between 25 and 50. I'm not sure exactly what that is, 37 point something. Um, so I take one and a half of the 25. Um, I have, I, I will do a separate video on this topic because I think it's a really important topic to talk about and um, I'm not entirely a believer of have to take these uh, these thyroid medications to fix my symptoms because the symptoms are probably mostly due to lack of some of the nutrition um, like some of the nutrients that are not available in some of the food or for example magnesium I, I don't get enough magnesium and my stomach gets really bad if I'm not taking magnesium so that's something I've noticed and it has not even been fixed by taking the thyroid medicine so I think it's a trial and error process and you have to find out what works for you so right now I think I am taking these medications just to keep it at a like a good steady dose and also keep my symptoms in check but I will eventually go to some natural dietitian who is mostly concerned with you know like um, what kind of nutrients you get into your bloodstream and what you're lacking and what what your body needs your specific body so I think I'm going to look more into that when I have the time and effort to look into that and uh, hopefully I will slowly move away from these medications for thyroid because I strongly believe that you can heal your body with your diet and it's, um, it's just a matter of finding out what you need to eat because because of all the allergies that I've got, I need to um, make sure that it's not the wrong type of food. So yeah, that's just a side note. I, I'm i going to make a separate video on that topic. And um, yeah, for the eyes right now, this is the status and I will be doing another update as um, soon as I'm removing these ones. I. Um, think I will be able to walk around in the apartment without the sunglasses in just a couple of days and then whenever I'm outside I'm wearing them and uh, yeah we'll see how the vision will improve right now I am not able to see much with that eye but I'm hoping that the cortisone eye drops will work its magic throughout these coming days and it will stabilize and uh, yeah I'll uh, check back soon so uh, take care